Welcome to this uh, brief webinar. We are going to talk here about um, researching niches. And uh, this is not something that I have uh, um, pushed real hard uh, over the last few years because I feel like there's almost always a way to um, to make just about any niche work. But there are some niches that are extremely competitive that uh, would make it difficult to rank. And so what we're talking about is, uh, when I say ranking, we're talking about getting our website organically or naturally to show up at the top of Google. And that takes a lot of work. And how much work really depends on the competition that's out there and the demand and then the relevance between those two. So that's kind of what we're looking at here is you know, I don't want you to get too heavy into analyzing things early on because even if your first website that you do doesn't become all that you want it to be, you're going to learn through that experience and you can always go back and start another one at a later time and take all that knowledge and do even better on the next one. I've done that many times myself with, uh, with niches and, and websites. So that's the most important thing is don't overanalyze but here's some insights to what can be done so we're gonna start by going to Google's keyword planner and we can find that simply by doing a search for keyword planner on Google and then what we're looking for is this search result right here ads.google.com um, that ends in keyword planner so we click on that one and it comes up here and, and we have to sign in, we have to create an account with Google Ads. And so this is Google's paid advertising platform, but we don't have to start paying for um, advertising. What we can do is come in here and get this logged in. What we need to do is just skip their guided setup because their guided setup will go take us into paying for ads so when you see this option come up when you come into Google uh, Ads and Google AdWords we want to start by clicking right here skip the guided setup if you click this continue button you're done you have to enter credit card information in order to continue so don't ever do that skip the guided setup if they move that around on the page find it find the option to skip that's what we want to do um, this is important. We can't um, we can't change that selection, so that's something that you want to make sure you get right the first time, um, and then you'll save and continue. All right. So you verify the time zone and then save and continue, and that will get us on into Google's uh, ads uh, ad account, and again what we're looking for here is just the keyword planner uh, part of that is all we want and they've changed this recently this year uh, early to mid 2018 they changed the whole look of this I had to redo my webinars I haven't even redone all of them but um, if they change it again in the future they'll probably still keep this little tools icon the little wrench and it'll be there somewhere And so that's where we want to go is to that and then to keyword planner and this allows us to start doing some research so you have to have a Gmail account a Google account to do this and then you can just go to to AdWords and create you know sign up and then we want to just use this option find keywords don't go to the get search volume and forecast we go to find keywords and we're going to enter some keywords related to our niche we want to do this for each individual niche so if we're looking at the outdoor arena then we might look uh, at maybe uh, uh, sleeping bags, hammocks, um, and sleeping cots. And I don't think they'll let us do. Oh, they do. Okay, so they just changed that. They used to limit us to only three. So we can put in some seed phrases, some initial phrases to get us started, and then we click Get Started. And then Google takes that information and they go out and check their database and all the keywords that everybody all over the world has been typing in that might relate to those keywords, and they give you a list of anywhere from 600 to 1,000 keywords. And here, oh, they actually give more. They're saying we found 2,361 keyword ideas related to what you typed in. 
Well, then we come up here and we click Download Keyword Ideas. And hopefully we're using um, Google Chrome. And so pull that up here. And so you'll see it down at the bottom of your Chrome where you can load it. Now I want to teach you another little secret. If we're using um, Gmail, then we come into our Gmail account and we've got this Google Apps up here at the top right. So we can click on that and open up all the apps and go down to Drive. This is a free, if you're not familiar with it, a free software program basically like um, Microsoft uh, Office. Uh, and so what we're going to do is just pull that keyword spreadsheet that we just downloaded, click and drag, and just drag it up here and drop it. And it uploads that into our Google Drive account and then we come up to the top here where it says open with Google Sheets or open with sometimes we click on that and open it with Google Sheets and so that opens it up in a spreadsheet format for us and again this is all free it automatically updates for us I've got other uh, webinars that talk about how to refine this data so I'm not going to go into a lot of that just uh, right now uh, I'm going to run through what I would do here um, just quickly without explaining it because I have other webinars that will explain this but all I want to do is get some uh, some basic data. All I want is this keyword um, column and the minimum and maximum search columns for that data. That's all I'm looking for. So these two rows are going away. We're going to delete, or not rows, columns. We get rid of those. We're going to get rid of all of these here. I'm actually going to keep uh, a few columns for a code that I need to type in. And then we'll just get rid of any other data that isn't relevant. And then the last thing I do is uh, I'll freeze that top row by going up here to view, freeze, and one row. And just freezes that. So if I scroll up and down, the data changes, but my, um, my headers stay where they are. I need that. <laughs> if I don't have that, then I don't know what look, numbers I'm looking at. So I like to keep that. All right. And then we're going to put a little, this is for our competition. We do a search in Google called All In Title. And I'm creating a formula here. And uh, we'll do this the way I do it all the time. Doing a, a concatenate formula. And we're going to tell Google to combine data. Combine this first, comma, then take the keyword and then a comma, and then take this cell over here, press enter, and that creates our um, complete formula. So it'll combine the data into a specific um, search criteria that we need to put into Google. And then I can just fill that all the way down by double clicking there. Again, this is all explained in more detail in other webinars. And so this is what we want to go search in Google to get an idea of the competition. What is our competition for these phrases? And you're going to find that those with the highest search volumes are also going to have the highest competition usually. So we can sort our list under data, sort Z, highest to lowest, Z to A, on this column B. And that way we've got all these high ones up here. And, and these are so general, we're not going to target those phrases anyway. They're too general. We want to target phrases that are at least two words, preferably uh, uh, three to, uh, um, to five um, words or more in the phrase. So just to give you an example, we take hammock, for example. We're going to take this right here, and we're going to copy that. We're going to go search for that in Google, and it's going to tell us, well, we saw, a, you know, Google says we see 2,140,000 results. So I'm going to put that right over here, 2,140,000 thousand competing pages. That's our all-in title or competition. Okay, And so that's pretty high. I mean, that's a lot of competing pages. Well, what about tense? Probably similar. So we put tense in there. 2,070,000. So again, you can see that those that have high demand also have really high competition. What about camping caught? That's a little more specific phrase. So we'll put that one in here. 
15,800. Okay, well that's that's more doable. Um, sleeping bag, that's probably a little higher, I'm thinking. 819,000. So yeah, almost a million there. So we do this, and basically what I would say is you want to do this on maybe uh, 50 to 100 phrases. I would choose, you know, maybe just the um, 20 to 30 per niche that are real specific to what you might sell. So it's got to be specific to products. We're not going to do, you know, sport code or outdoor stores or sleeping. Those are garbage words. We're not going to do those. We're going to do those that are related to the products that we might be selling. Camping supplies is too general. We want specific phrases related to products that we're thinking about possibly selling. Sleeping cots, um, down sleeping bag, uh, double sleeping bag, those are good phrases to uh, um, to use. Children's sleeping bag, um, indoor hammock, hammock swing, outdoor hammock, those kinds of phrases. So search on those that are a thousand minimum or above. Um, and again, with each niche, so sleeping bags, hammocks, cots, if you decide to do rollators and and mobility walkers and wheelchairs, diabetes socks. You know, if you want to check all these other niches, we do each of those individually and, and find be anywhere from 10 to 30 phrases per product niche and do this research. And then after we've done that on several niches, we can com compare the data to decide which ones we want to target to work with. So if we find that we have several camping cot or sleeping cot related phrases that are low competition and good demand, then those are that indicates a niche that we would want to work with. And so that's how we get enough data to be able to decide, and Google's going to do this every now and then when you do a lot of uh, um, searches, they want you to prove that you're human. Um, but that's going to give us the data that we need to, come on, oh, for crying out loud, I don't have time for this. <laughs> um, that'll give us the data we need to kind of compare to decide oh, for crying out loud, I'm human, I promise. This is really annoying. Wow. All right, that'll give us the data to decide which niche we feel most comfortable with. So, and basically what it comes down to is the lower the competition with a decent number, I'd say minimum search over a thousand, um, the better. So if we have 10 camping cot phrases or more, that all have under 20,000 competition, for example, and over a thousand um, minimum search volume, then that's a great niche. But if we go to another niche and we find that we have even lower competition with similar demand, then that would be an easier niche to get ranked with. And so then it's just up to us to decide which one is most interesting to us to finalize our decision, okay? So again, don't get carried away with it. Don't spend too much time in, <laughs> in analyzing this because you could analyze for weeks and that is not what I want you to do. This should all be done in a few hours in one week and you should be able to make a decision. You bring the data back to me and then I can help you with a, you know, making a final decision because there are a lot of good niches, a lot of good options. This just gives us a little better view of what we might want to work with.